Near the shores of the Ohio River lies the Cincinnati Museum Center at Union Station. As you enter the Museum of Natural History and Science, you are greeted by their delightful dinosaur hall. The first dinosaurs that we find are both part of the Diplodocus family. The Galliomopus is the first of these massive sauropods. They were discovered in 1995 in the Howe Scott Quarry in Wyoming. Then there's Diplodocus itself. The Diplodocus was discovered in 1877 by Othniel Marsh during the classic Bone Wars. These massive sauropods roamed the Earth during the Jurassic period about 161 to 145 million years ago. They could grow up to be 26 meters or 85 feet long. This Galliomopus is almost 60 feet long and this Diplodocus is only a juvenile. Even at the smaller sizes, both of these animals tower above my head. But both would have been hunted by what's behind them. The Torgosaurus lived in the Jurassic period about 153 to 148 million years ago. They could weigh up to 1950 kilograms, that's about 2 tons, and they could reach up to 10 meters or about 40 feet long. They're relatives of the Cretaceous's Spinosaurus. The only place to see them is right here in Cincinnati. But they were not the only killers of the Jurassic. Beside it is the Allosaurus. It lived from 155 to 150 million years ago. These animals weighed in lighter than the Torvosaurus at 1,700 kilograms or about one and a half tons. But it made up for this in the size of its massive claws. These claws could get up to 25 centimeters or 10 inches long. By the end of the Jurassic, all of these animals were gone. There was a minor extinction event around 145 million years ago. This may have been catastrophic for the Torvosaurus and the Allosaurus, but it made way for much larger and terrifying animals. Welcome to the Cretaceous. This period of time has many of the well-known dinosaurs from around the world. This hall only shows a small collection of those, but nevertheless, they are incredible finds. The Dasplitosaurus lived about 77 to 74 million years ago. This early relative of the Tyrannosaurus rex weighed about 2,500 kilograms or 2.4 tons. It was discovered in Alberta, Canada, and we can find it in Montana. It can be up to 9 meters or 30 feet long, which is only a portion of the size of its cousin, the T. rex. Probably the most well-known dinosaur in the entire world, the Tyrannosaurus rex was discovered by Barnum Brown in 1902. They could weigh up to 6,000 kilograms, or just under 6 tons. They lived from 68 to 66 million years ago. Above the mighty Tyrannosaurus flies the Pteranodon. This flying reptile was not a dinosaur, but lived at the same time as Despletosaurus 
at 85 to 75 million years ago. At roughly 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, it was a wonder these creatures could even fly. Below the Pteranodon, we step back to the dinosaur's beginning in Coelophysis. These animals lived 200 million years ago in the Triassic time period. Weighing only 25 kilograms or 55 pounds, these made a morsel for the other reptiles that were walking the land at that time. The oceans during the Mesozoic era were teeming with life. Everything from fishes to cephalopods lived during the same time as the dinosaurs. Even primitive nautiluses could be found. Also, the great marine reptiles like ichthyosaurs ruled the oceans. Today, dedicated paleontologists study the remains and help unearth possible futures for us. If you enjoyed your trip back in time, don't forget to like this video, comment on what we could be doing better, and subscribe to continue on safaris with me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.